and to set you sinners free. Well, I'm so glad that Jesus, that Jesus set me free. I'm so glad that Jesus set me free. Sing in glory, hallelujah. Jesus set me free. Well, Satan had me bound, but Jesus set me free. Satan had me bound, but Jesus set me free. Satan had me bound, but Jesus set me free. Sing in glory, hallelujah. Jesus set me free. And you do the same for every sinner at U of I. If you will meet the conditions and repent and call upon his name today. For you see, God is not willing that any should perish, but that all come to repentance. Now, why do you suppose God Almighty, who created everything, why would he want sinners that you abide to repent? He doesn't want you to perish. In the Old Testament, <laughs> under the Old Covenant, we have these words. Anyone who sets aside the law of Moses dies without mercy on the testimony of two or three witnesses. How much severer punishment do you think he will deserve who has trampled underfoot the Son of God and regarded as unclean the blood of the covenant by which he was sanctified and has insulted the spirit of grace? For we know him who said, Vengeance is mine, I will repay. And again, the Lord will judge his people. It is a terrifying thing to fall into the hands of a living God. So any born-again Christian like this man in the striped shirt who rejects Christ, denounces Christ, then the only thing he can look forward to is the vengeance and wrath of a holy God and he will surely cast you into the lake of fire. That's you who have never been saved. You can be saved today. Hallelujah. God wants you to be saved. But most of you would rather live in your sin, continue in your rebellion against God, for you love yourself supremely, and the only thing you want out of life is to gratify yourself. Oh yes, the majority of students on this campus love their sin more than God. The majority of students on this campus are traveling the highway to hell, and they're proud of it. Now God doesn't want you to wind up in hell. I don't want you to wind up in hell. But if you're bound and determined to go to hell, then go to hell. <laughs> Absolutely. That's what the blood will do for you. It will perfect you. Hallelujah. It's the only thing in the universe that will perfect your heart, uh, cleanse your conscience uh, from sin and dead works. Uh, what can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Uh, Jesus can take a wicked sinner at U of I, forgive their sins, cleanse their heart from all sin and all unrighteousness, wash them in his blood, sanctify them with his word. Hallelujah. And when Jesus Christ gets done with the wicked sinner, they become a perfect saint of God, and then they can go out and attack the devil and destroy the works of the devil. Hallelujah.